Hi there, so I wanted to share a little bit of a blog that I, I wrote recently and the title was around vision. Uh, I'm gonna read off some of what um, what I said in the blog and then encourage you to visit our site to, to kind of catch all of that. I think there's a lot of uh, encouragement in here for, uh, for folks who have been told that they're doing too much. So sometimes people in your life can have good intentions, but they can actually rob your dreams. Uh, so I want to share encouragement for those who are pursuing their dreams and you might not be there yet, uh, for those who are just starting out on your journey, or for those who've received some kind of vision or insight that nobody else can see. So your vision is between you and God. The how requires you to depend fully on him. If you have asked the father to use you to do his will, the how is still up to him. And so he'll send you help but you've got to be able to discern what that help is. You can't allow everybody to speak into you, speak into your business, speak into that vision of the business. You've got to be, you know, you stay close to him and then he'll guide you. And I had to learn that lesson for myself because I found myself trying to seek approval from people around me. I was asking questions like, am I doing the right things? Am I reaching the right audience? Where do I go next? And what I was actually doing uh, was allowing my flesh to speak louder than my spirit. So my spirit knows the vision from my father. When I say my father, I'm talking about God, okay? My spirit knows that all things work together for the good. My spirit knows the actual call of my life, but I was listening to flesh, meaning I was listening outside of that. So I don't know who needs to hear this. I hope this is blessing somebody, but the next time somebody says to you, you're doing too much, this is your response. What looks like too much for you is nothing for me. I am walking in the will for my life and I'm aligned to God's plan. So be, be encouraged. Your vision is between you and God. It's not between you and your kids. It's not between you and your friends. He called you to do great things. You're the only one who can see this vision. So stop asking for approval of others who can't see. It is not their vision, it's yours. So I hope that you're encouraged. You know, there's um, a, a, a chapter or a book and chapter in the Bible that a lot of Christians turn to. It's Habakkuk 2 verse 1. It talks about the Lord answered me, write the vision, make it plain on tablets so he may run who reads it. And a lot of us have kind of contorted that to meaning creating vision boards and a, biz a business plan. And while, while it is true that you have to write down your plans, I believe that our Father is saying a, a lot more than that. So if you just take that apart, it, and the Lord answered me, answered me, it tells us that Habakkuk had a relationship with God. He was communicating with God. So there was an open channel. There was dialogue in the spirit and the Lord answers. And he also tells you, it also tells you that he knew God's voice. So the Lord answers me, right? Write the vision is the response that God gave to Habakkuk. He showed him the vision and it was a direct response. Make it plain on tablets. Don't twist the vision to suit your understanding. What exactly did God show you? It's your vision. So he may run who reads it so that you can put action behind it, so you can declare it, so you can proclaim it, so you can do something with it, so you may run with it. So I'm gonna always appear to be doing too much. I accepted the vision that God gave me and showed me for my life. I'm proud, inspired, and empowered with the help of the Holy Spirit to make it happen. And I just hope that you are encouraged. Follow your vision, don't lose hope. Some things you gotta keep to yourself, but keep, keep following that vision. It does take time, but it is possible. Thank you so much for listening and I hope this helps somebody. Take care.